In this uh, video, we are going to discuss gauge transformations in electrodynamics. Okay. So, gauge transformations in electrodynamics. Well, uh, before going to start the topic, uh, let us see that there are two distinct uh, objects in the title. One is the gauge transformations and other one is the electrodynamics. Okay? And we are familiar with this electrodynamics. We know about what electrodynamics is. But this uh, gauge transformations is a new kind of thing. So, we have to understand what gauge transformations are. And basically, these gauge transformations are uh, formulated in the theory of electrodynamics. Okay, so we are going to uh, discuss what gauge transformations are in electrodynamics. Okay, so uh, let's start. So to understand uh, the topic, uh, we will follow some strategy, a kind of uh, lesson plan. Okay. So, first we will consider the term transformation. As we can see that we are going to understand gauge transformations. Okay? And we can simply say that uh, this gauge transformation is, a, is some kind of transformation. So, first uh, we will see the significance of this term transformation in physics. Okay? So, first we will consider the significance of the term transformation in physics. After uh, that, uh, we will uh, briefly uh, recall about uh, electrodynamics. And that means uh, about the basic structure of electrodynamics. Basically about the electric field and magnetic field. Okay. So, after that, uh, we will consider the electrodynamic potentials. Uh, we know about uh, electrodynamic potentials. There are uh, two types of potentials. One is called the electric uh, potential corresponding to the electric field. And another one is uh, the magnetic vector potential corresponding to the magnetic field. Okay. So, we will discuss about the these electrodynamic potentials. And after having this uh, discussion about these electrodynamic potentials, we will be able to define uh, the gauge transformations. As we will see that these gauge transformations will be some transformations of these electrodynamic potentials. Okay. So, uh, we will define uh, what gauge transformations are. Okay. So, after that, uh, we will consider a specific type of gauge that is column gauge. Actually, there are two types of uh, basic gauge. One is called column gauge and other one is Lorentz gauge. And here we will uh, consider Coulomb gauge as a basic example. We will briefly discuss about uh, what Coulomb gauge is. After that, we will see why the transformation is called uh, gauge transformation. And it is an important point regarding our basic understanding. Uh, since we see that this uh, is a new kind of transformation for us, therefore, we have to understand why this transformation is called gauge transformation. Okay? So, we will uh, understand why the transformation is called gauge transformation. 
Finally, we will consider gas transformations in four vector form. That means the gas transformations can be formulated in four vector form. And this uh, knowledge we will require uh, to study the gas theory of elementary particles. So, from that point of view, uh, this uh, knowledge is important for us. So, in this way, we will proceed to understand the gas transformations in electrodynamics. So, let us uh, begin. <coughs> 